In today's video, I'm going to be showing you my favorite builds to take on the Mantis at the moment. This is one of the most OP builds in the game, and it's not just good against the Mantis, it's good against basically every creature in the game. This is an unbelievable build, and you're gonna need to try it. Right, in this chest, I have everything that you could want to use during this fight. First off, we've got the consumables. You're gonna use some questionable slop. I recommend this is beefy, but for some reason it's bugged in my game right now. I can't craft the beefy version, but I recommend you use the beefy version. Also, bandages, passive healing, a must-have in the fight. Then we've got some smoothies. We've got the liquid rage, boost juice, fuzz on the rocks, green machine, and human food, all of which are sticky, just so they last a little bit longer. These aren't necessary, but they do help a little bit. And we've got the spider slider, which increases your crit chance during the fight. Next up, we've got the weapons. I've got a level 9 salty club of the mother demon. You definitely need this, especially the salty variation. Then, these next weapons, you don't need them to be upgraded, but it does help. We have the widow dagger, spider fang dagger, lava blade, and the insect bow with super venom and regular venom arrows. Next up on the armor, I've got the sleek mask of the demon mother, as well as the sleek widow spalder and sleek widow leggings. This is so they have special effects, which help massively during the fight. Finally, we have Thor's Pendant, which you're obviously going to need, as this buffs all of your stats and is really good. If you have yet to find Thor's Charm in the game, you're going to need to come to this area of the map right here. It's on top of this fallen log, then just follow the path I take, and it's in a little bag on the floor. This charm buffs all of your stats, and it's a really good charm to have throughout the game. If you're lucky enough to get the Salt Charm from a piece of salt, I'd also recommend you use that, as it massively buffs salty damage, which would definitely help in this boss fight. The last thing you'll need for the fight is the Mantis Kebab. You need it to summon the Mantis. This one is actually 100% necessary, believe it or not. Before we go into the fight, these are the mutations I recommend that you use. First off, we have Parry Master. This is going to be really useful, because if you don't block the attacks, you're going to take a lot of damage. Obviously, Coupe de Gras and Trapper Peeper go hand in hand to massively increase crit damage that you do during the fight. We have Cardio Fan, which is massively going to help you to recover your stamina. And finally, Apex Predator. This massively increases the damage from the Club of the Mother Demon during the fight. Before we summon the boss, I'm obviously going to use all of the smoothies and the meal so that we have as many buffs as possible. You'll notice in the bottom right corner, I think my face cam... Oh, no, my face cam is not quite covering it. You can see that there's a absolute crap ton of buffs on my screen. Right, we're going to summon the Mantis. Then the first thing you're going to do when it spawns in, we're going to wait for it. Get our bow ready and drawn. It's going to jump down. It's going to do this little head movement. And then as soon as it's moved its head, you can hit it. Hit it with both poison arrows. Then you've got to just take that hit for the team. Hit it with all the attacks. Block that attack. And then hit it with this final one with the Club of the Mother Demon. Make sure you get these perfect blocks in. As this does even more poison damage during the fight. It's really important. You perfect block as many attacks as possible. You're probably going to lose attack damage due to the pollen, but if you're lucky like me right now, you might be okay. As you can see, the Mantis' health is just chunking down. So is my FPS, though, so this might become difficult in a second. Okay, the Mantis screamed again. That's making my life much easier. And just like that, the Mantis is dead. All of the poison from all of the weapons stacks. So when I hit it with both Venom Arrows, plus the Lava Blade, plus the Spider Fang Dagger, so... Both Venom Arrows is two stacks of poison. Lava Blade's three. Spider Fang Dagger's four. Widow Dagger's five. And the Club of the Me Mother Demon can, can poison with the poison coating from the Mask of the Mother Demon. And the Poison Nova. That's seven stacks of poison. You keep in count here. If you parry and perfect block with your weapon, that's another stack of poison. So that's eight. Eight poison effects all at once, damaging the Mantis boss. And it absolutely tanks the health of the boss. I got lucky there because I didn't get hit by the pollen. If you do get hit by the pollen, I recommend you get out of the pollen so that it's not debuffing you anymore and so that you can see. I've heard there's a bug where the pollen infinitely spawns at the moment and it's not supposed to do that. If that does happen, it might make the fight a lot more difficult and a lot laggier. Next up, I'm going to show you how to beat it in a custom game when you're obviously invincible and how quickly this boss can truly be killed in a custom match. Now that we're in a custom game, I'm going to change up my mutations massively. We're going to use Barbarian as this increases club damage massively. And we're also going to use Mom Jeans because this can summon spiders, which will also damage the Mantis during the fight. I'm also swapping to the Broodmother Trinket as this makes your summons also do poison damage during the fight which is what the Mom Jeans mutation is for. 
Right, let's pop all of our buffs and then let's get into this boss fight. Trust me, this one is going to be much quicker than the last one. We're still on medium difficulty, which means this is still going to be difficult, but it'll be much quicker. As always, we wait for the Mantis to drop in. I think we missed the first shot. Good job, me. Okay, get that poison stack going straight away. I think I missed one of the daggers as well. Okay, look at all the poison stacks going off right now. We've got the helmet poison. All the poison. The health is just constantly draining. She has summoned pollen, which might slow this boss fight down. Okay, it's looking like the pollen's not affecting me right now, which is really good. As you can see, the mantis' health is absolutely getting rolled. And just like that, the mantis is dead. The mom gene spiders help, the barbarian mutation helps. Everything helps to increase the damage you're doing the whole time. I have now killed the mantis 254 times. I still don't have the trinket. I swear, the game is bugged, okay? I don't know what to tell you, but... I really recommend you use this build because all of the poison stacks, it is the most broken build in the game right now. It is absolutely amazing. And if you like the build, make sure you leave a like on the video. I'd really appreciate that. Comment down below any suggestions you have to improve the build. And I'll see you in the next grounded video. Thank you so much for watching.